the Detect Silence panel has been updated with several new functions. New AI-powered algorithms for dialogue detection in Nuendo 12 reliably detect spoken dialogue regardless of the presence of background noise. Instead of detecting silence based on levels only, edit decisions will be made depending on the existence or absence of dialogue. The new Audition tool lets you easily preview each suggested section. Just click and hold on any of the slices to immediately start playback. With mute gaps, you can decide if sections outside the slices should play back normally or muted. <laughs> when using the strip silence function, you now can choose to automatically set fades for the pre- and post-roll ranges. For an even faster workflow, Detect Silence with current settings lets you immediately apply the last used settings via the audio menu or by key command. In a dialogue editing workflow, it is often necessary to align several lavalier mic recordings to a boom mic reference track. With the improved audio alignment functionality in Nuendo 12, this can now be achieved in one go. You now can use multiple reference clips to apply their timing to the corresponding set of production sound clips in a non-destructive process. With the new Free Warp tool in Nuendo 12, you can now make subtle timing corrections to the audio event waveforms directly in the project window. To perfectly match sound effects to picture, align dialogue recordings, or groove alignment. The new Free Warp tool can also be used on tracks on a folder track with the group editing option enabled. The phase coherent mode for multi-track audio warp makes sure that the spatial relation between the edited tracks remains accurately intact when warping. This mode is especially useful when warping multi-microphone recordings like drums or live orchestras containing crosstalk and ambience. When recording with several mics simultaneously, phase shifts may happen, especially on set with moving mics and varying distances. With Noendo's updated ARA interface, it now perfectly integrates Auto-Align Post 2 by Sound Radix. Auto-Align Post 2 can be applied directly to events or on track level. For this, I created two new audio tracks now simply drag and drop the events that need to be aligned on these tracks and set a reference. You can further fine-tune the processing by selecting dynamic or static phase and spectral or polarity. Several new fade commands have been added. Fade in to range start creates a fade in from event start to range start. Fade out from range end creates a fade out from the range end to the event end. Remove fade in, fade out. These commands allow you to remove fade ins or outs separately from all selected events, instead of removing both using the remove fades command. There's a new option to simultaneously modify the fade in and fade out lengths while sizing events. Just press and hold the corresponding modifier key to trim or resize events and adjusting the fade lengths. The 
key command base operations for creating and adjusting range selections have been extended. It is now possible to also increase decrease the vertical direction to span range selections across multiple tracks. You now can entirely rely on key commands to extend and move a range selection in all four directions. The layout and user interface has been updated and made consistent to the overall application look and feel. The preset system has been overhauled and many very powerful presets have been added. There are several new event target filters, like the property condition parent object is selected. Also a set of new event transform actions has been added for routing, coloring and naming target objects. It's now possible to apply a set of four commands, macros, or even other project logical editor presets before and after the actual filter and target actions. You can now decouple the grid for nudge editing operations from the actual grid settings. This allows, for example, to work with a musical bars and beats grid for all mouse-based operations, while nudging commands happen in frame-by-frame -frame steps. It is now possible to assign key commands for grid-based slip editing. The step size corresponds to the new independent nudge grid settings. In addition to moving events with their start, respectively, swing point to the cursor position, this now is possible with event ends as well. New key commands can be assigned to jump back and forward by a predefined amount of time in the timeline. The following values are available. 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds. I'm Zauza Hihi, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nuendo channel. Goodbye.